In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a custom Google map to your WordPress or Elementor website for free. The custom Google map that we are going to create will have features like this that you can customly create on a Google based map or that you can create on Google. You can add uh, different store locations. You can add different features to that map. You can draw routes on that map. You can create several other maps still using this Google map tool that is called actually Google My Maps. You can add a number of features and locations and you can customly make them. You can even link them up to specific uh, URLs or websites. The same thing, you can also add that Google map that you have created to your own WordPress website. Just like here on my website, I've added this map and it's showing up over here. And at the same time, you'll be able to display or locate different features on that map. And you can even visit specific URLs that you set up for those specific uh, features or locations on that map. Like for example, if I want to look at the playground, I can simply click over here and I see the playground that is on location three over here. Or if someone wants to view this map on a larger window, they can easily do that. And if they wish to, for example, share that map, they can easily share that map anywhere else. So let's get started and create this map using Google My Maps. The number one thing that you actually need to have is called a Gmail account. So once you have a Gmail account, you can simply just come over here when you are signed in and Google My Maps by Google. This URL will show up. Once that URL shows up, simply visit that URL and you'll come directly over here. I've already created two maps in my Google My Maps account, just like these two that you have seen. But let's start from scratch and create our own. So we simply have to say create a new map. Once you are here under create new map, you can choose where you want to locate your map, whether in your country or you can even choose different locations all over the world. And you can simply add your location or place or country that you want to add. Let me try to add my locations right here within my country, Uganda, but the same you can do all over the world. For example, if we have multiple stores within uh, Kampala or the central region of Uganda, I can simply zoom over to that specific area. Now I'm going to add some locations, for example, by coming over here to add a marker. I'll click over here and I'll add a marker. I'll name, for example, this one location one. And I can describe my location over there. Once someone is over this place and basically they want to read about that location. So this is maybe the location info. Let me just copy this for future use. Then I can save. Once I save, I have other options. For example, changing the color, changing the icon, even using a feature image for this specific location. For example, if this is our office location number one, we can even use an image for our office location number one. But before we do that, let's try to change the color. So we are going to make all our office locations to be in this color. Or maybe let me use a purple, something like that. We can choose to use another icon for all our offices. For example, we can choose to use a house. Or we can come over here and choose from a number of icons that we have. For example, you can also create or use custom icons that you have already created. Once you are done with that, you simply hit OK. Now we are going to add another location. You simply come back here to our pin. And then on that specific location where you want to add your office location, you simply click over there. And then you can simply add the location name, location 2, and the location address. And then you simply hit Save Changes. And we can still change our location icon over here. And then we can also change the color and we can even still come back and edit the information that we have already added there. If we don't want, we can also add the location office image. For example, when I come over here, I can choose from one of the photos I've already uploaded to my section. I can come to my G drive or I can simply come over here and upload a custom image. And that's all. If you have an image, you can simply use it and you have the chance to display. However, if you don't have an image, you can simply also use an image from the web using the Google search over here. And then you search for an image. Let me say uh, your company image. Maybe you search for like Apple office and you get the image that you want to use for your company. And boom, you are good to go. You've now added an image for your company office in that location. Simply hit save changes. 
if you don't want or if in case you've done a mistake you can simply delete that icon from that location now let's add a hospital that is in our network so we simply come back here add an icon to that specific location where you want to add your uh, location so you say like location three and then you add the hospital address and that's all say hospital.com and then i can come over here change the color icon in this case let me choose uh, an icon for the hospital by searching like hospital i can get this over here and then i can use that icon and still i can change the color for that icon over there and i'm good to go so i've changed the icon location to the hospital okay then i can also use an image for the hospital that uh, we have in this location and i am good to go now we have added location uh, markers to our custom map and you see they are very visible now on our map what else can we do we can also add a couple of uh, location like properties or even drawings for example we can add a line or a shape for example we can say uh, from here to here to here to here and this we can add that custom shape and we say this is all our golf course okay and then the details maybe the contact office for the golf course manager or all that information and boom we can change the colors for example by coming over here to the color and you can change the transparency you can simply use a different color okay something like that you can also add a border for your uh, pitch or for your shape that you've added but also you have to note that once you add a shape like this you cannot edit anything or you can't add anything underneath this specific area let's try to add another shape by coming back here to the draw line or shape then make sure that when you are drawing your shapes just like this you have to make sure that you actually connect both the beginning point and the ending point you connect them together then here we can say our pitch this is uh, and you add maybe the contacts for that person and then you can also change the color for the pitch you can increase or decrease the gradient or whatever you want and that's all so we can actually draw a route that is from the hospital to our nearest entrance to the playground or to the pitch so by drawing that route over here and maybe this is the shortest route to our main entrance now once you are done creating that route you simply click on the very last note and that means the route will end and here we can say route to main gate of pitch you know you can add maybe the how long it takes or the kilometers the time and the street numbers and all that stuff over here this route is actually 15 0.8 kilometers and then you can use like a specific or a, a, a color that you want to be using for all your roots maybe something like that this is going to be black and you can come back here and then you edit and say uh, coverage is 15.6 15.8 kilometers okay so from here this is the shortest route someone takes to reach the gate okay now you can also add a couple of other things for example you can add a driving route a biking route walking route and all that stuff you can move around your location okay you can even measure specific uh, area from like here to here you can come by zooming in get your measure tool and then you can simply draw from here to here how long does it take that is roughly 2.5 kilometers okay once you no longer need this this is basically for measuring you can simply click over there and it disappears the measure tool is not added to the map but it's used basically to show you the distance between uh, properties or sections on your map we can add a number of other locations we can say we have another location over here location four add information that we want to display over there we can change our icons or whatever or the color we can add another one 
on another place you simply have to first click on the icon itself location five add the info you can also add another pin over somewhere location six add info you can come back and edit the information you can uh, delete that specific pin that you've added we can add another one somewhere else but the best thing is basically to zoom in to that specific location where you want to add that pin so that you have the right dimensions or area where you want to add the pin and then you can simply add the pin to that location location six add the info come over here you can change the pin or the pointer that you are using change the color to what you want and you are good to go one thing i've not talked about yet is the use of layers when you're actually using this locator or my maps so here we have all been using the first layer so we can name the first layer as our office locations okay now we can actually create another layer and we name that layer let me say our staff quarters so we can name it like our staff quarters and then we save now under our staff quarters we are going to add a number of uh, pointers or locations for all our staff quarters by coming over here remember now we have our staff quarters uh, layer selected so under our staff layers layer we're going to add a pin for all quarters for example uh, staff quarter one we add the location save we're going to change the icon for our staff quarters so maybe we use like this icon over here say yes and we are going to change the color for all our staff quarters to something like that okay now we can add staff quarters anywhere else also remember now this is all going under here so come here get the specific location for your staff quarters maybe this is the location over here then you say staff quarter two add the location details save make changes now remember we have added a previous icon which is this over here for our staff quarters and then the color which is this color so staff quarter two and then we are good to go we can now add another staff quarter somewhere else say staff quarter somewhere here besides our pitch on some road called whatever road name come over here get a pin then staff quarter three add the location details make changes then add our icon that we previously used and there we are good to go you can create any layers that you want and uh, you can also change how your map is going to look like now we have a couple of different map uh, themes that actually google gives you we have the map we have the satellite we have the terrain we have the light political mono city and all this over here so by switching over here automatically the layout of the map or the satellite images change based on that specific theme that you are using i prefer to use the default one which is more clear and more familiar with most of the people now the other thing that you can do is you can now preview your map that you have created it will look just like this okay we have all these locations over here when I click over there, the location details open up. When I click over there, the location details open up. Over here, over here, see now this office location, home, hospital, and all that. If we had added an image for the hospital, of course, it will also appear right up there. Now, the other thing that you have to do is we can one, enable sharing this map for anyone to view it anywhere, and we can also set a default view for our map so first thing we have to do is we are going to set a default view and uh, the set default view is a view that you are viewing the map at the current state if you zoom out like this and you come over here and you say set default view this will be the default view that whoever is going to look at this map this is what they'll be seeing i prefer to zoom a little bit in something like that then come over here then i can set to default view but one other thing that I haven't done is naming our map. 
uh, maybe I can give it the name of our company, company locations in Kampala or in Uganda. And maybe I can add the company description and contact info right there. Okay, then I save. Whatever is in here is basically for this specific company and the locations over here. And we have different layers, for example, for the offices and maybe for the staff quarters over there. Remember now we have already set the default view. Coming over here, setting the default view. Now we want to enable that this map can be shown to anyone who has access to this map. So how do we do that? We simply come over here to the share option. And we are going to come over here to who has access and say change that to public. And that means that whoever has a link, they are not required to sign in. Oh, this option will also enable us to embed our map on our website because now it is public. Anyone who has access to it can view it. So I'm going to simply say done. Now, how do we embed this map on our website? We're going to come back here to our map and basically come straight under here and say embed on site. And boom, we are going to get an iframe code that is provided by Google. And we can simply copy that iframe code. Once you copy it, you're going to come back to your website, come over here to the dashboard. I'm using a WordPress and I'm using also a page builder called Elementor. So once I open up over here, I'm going to come to my pages. I want to add this map to maybe the about page. Then I'll open up my about page with Elementor. Once my about page opens up in Elementor, I'll come over here add another section and come here to the widgets area i search for the html widget drag it over here to our canvas and i'll paste in our html iframe code that is from google and boom automatically our map is going to show up using the default view that we set when i update this page and i come over here to the preview you realize that under now our about page we are having our map show up over here now someone can zoom in and basically look at the specific locations that have been added to that custom map someone can click on one location over here and they'll get details about that specific location if they click over this location they will get details for that specific location okay or whatever that location is all about of course also our map name is showing up over here if your website visitor clicks over here, they're able to read about the company details and the different locations that are over there. When they click on that specific location, the map will basically highlight that location over here. When I go back, if I want to see where the staff quarter three, I click here on the staff quarter three and of course it will show up directly over there. The other thing is that someone of course can zoom in, can zoom out of this map at any point they want. And if they are based somewhere else, automatically they will see where they are based. Let me say they are based maybe in Australia. And automatically they will see that they are in Australia and this is where the location or wherever they want to go, uh, the place is located. Okay. Now someone of course can view this map on a larger window. And of course they can also share it on social media platforms that they may so wish. Remember that before we had our custom map added to the contact page when i come back here to the contact page you realize that we actually have our map still there but this is remember a different map that we i showed you at the beginning now we are actually displaying another totally different map on our website using my maps by google now this shows that you can actually create different map locations uh, or custom maps using my maps in google and you can display them on your website anywhere at any single point in time or you can simply share those maps to your friends and family in case you have any questions about this specific tutorial on how you can create a custom map using my maps by google please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise i hope this tutorial has brought you value in case you are new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video please give it a like thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next video goodbye